This guy is awesome. My sincere thanks to Louis Louis. He created a free app which runs Stable Diffusion AI Generator on your iPhone. Which is amazing. And did I mention it was free? The app is called Draw Things AI Generation and you can get it in the App Store. If you have an iPhone and want to experiment with AI art generation, this is the perfect tool for that. We will generate an image and edit it in Affinity Photo. But first, let's have a look at the app. It is quite powerful and contains most of the tools available from the desktop versions like in-painting, out-painting and text-to-image generation. The most important parameters are available for you to experiment and fine-tune the art generation. Also, multiple models are available which will generate different results. As most of the iPhones have a 2 gig of working memory, the models are limited to 2 gig for now. And you will need to have enough storage space on your phone to download them. Let's generate this prompt from Lexica and see what it makes of it. I will speed up the video a bit, but notice the time, which is 1338. While the iPhone is processing, let's surf Lexica for some inspiration. And it finishes at 1340. The generation of the image took about 2 minutes on my iPhone 13. It might be faster on an iPhone 14. But all in all, the processing speed is pretty amazing. I think it did a pretty good job. As mentioned, we can modify the settings and I will increase the steps a tiny bit. It also supports negative prompts allowing you to specify what you don't want to see. Let me use the prompt we see right now and click on generate again. The image is again generated within two minutes. As it's really pushing the limits of the iPhone Bionic chip, your phone will get hot. Let me change the model to anime and generate again. Pretty cool, a complete different result. Let me go back to the first prompt and use the Disney model and see what this generates for us. Pretty awesome. You can save and share the generated image. I have copied the image to Affinity Photo and let me share some quick tips to enhance and fix the generated AI art. So the first thing we want to do is to increase the image size. Ideally, you would use an AI upscaler, but let's keep things simple and just resize the image in Affinity. We can resize the document from the document menu and then selecting resize document. I will increase it to 1200 pixels and press resize. That looks much better. The resize also increased the noise in the image. To quickly fix that, we can add a live denoise filter to the image and increase the luminance level, which works well with these kind of images. This gets rid of most of the noise and the artifacts, but will also blur the image. To make it sharper, I will add a live unsharp mask and crank the values as much as I can without ruining the image. This will brighten the highlights quite a bit and the image might look a bit unnatural. To have this effect blend in better, I will set its blend mode to linear light and adjust the blend range as shown and dim down the effect by lowering its fill value. That looks awesome. It just makes it a bit sharper, but also gives it more contrast. The image generated from AI tools will also not be perfect. So in this case, I don't like the strong highlights and some of the shadows. I will create a new layer and with the help of the healing brush, I will fix these. Next, I will dim down and fix the bright border area on the left of the face. I will use the brush tool to paint on a new pixel layer and use an HSL adjustment to fine tune the color. 
As you notice, the left side of the face, especially the ear area, does not make sense. So I'll fix that by trimming that part of the face. And here is the end result and the before. As you see, by fixing some obvious errors, the end result becomes much more realistic. I hope you like this video and thanks again for watching and kudos to Leo Leo.